Here we go then to six red lights at Yoshi's Village in a load of Formula One cars. Hey, what's up guys, Aram here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, and welcome to another outing of a Formula 1 car on a Mario Kart circuit. We tried out the Royal Raceway, which was a lot of fun, a great conversion of that track, and now we've got Yoshi's Village here today. Uh, and again, another great conversion, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try and check out them all for yourself, on a set of Corsa, of course, with this kind of little mini-series we'll be doing on the channel. And as per usual, first of all, we'll take the car out, get to grips with it. It's a, I've seen the track layout very much more so than the Royal Raceway circuit this one seems like a mega great drifting circuit so if you were to take a car out to drift on it I think it'd be good fun obviously maybe not a Formula 1 car strong suit but I still think it's going to be quite a fun uh, funny kind of track to take on on board and then as always we'll chuck some AI on see what the racing is going to be like and I expect more carnage like we got a Royal Raceway we had cars going through the ground on that circuit flying up in the air we couldn't even control the car I think it's going to take a few laps for me to get to grips with the circuit before we're even ready for some AI, um, but already I can tell it's going to be a really another great visual spectacle just by what we can see here in the kind of quote-unquote pit lane or pit box basically, uh, so raring to go, but you guys seem to love the Raw Raceway video, That yeah, the response on that was crazy, so hopefully you'll uh, enjoy this one, and if you do go into enjoy it, then be sure to smash like button, but let's get into this then, it's Yoshi's Village in Formula 1 cars. Alright, here we are then in this uh, makeshift pit box, we've actually got the Ferrari mechanic here actually quite nicely and this one seems to have a uh, track map as well that works just like the the conversion of Royal Raceways so that's good as well I believe we're going left I think I think that's the way to go so let's head into this then and start the lap but it is always just such a <laughs> weird sight look I mean just look at it this is really so the detailing there I mean oh look at it on the left hand side Really awesome. Light Royal Raceway. A lot of the corners are very cambered. That one's actually got a massive bump. And then, oh my words, this is... What on earth am I driving on? This is why I love... I've grown to really love Assetto Corsa. This is just insanity. A lot of camber on this one. A lot. There's like... You can kind of see... Almost, I think, visually, you can see the elevation change from the one side of the circuit to the other. And I'm just, I'm not even saying much because this is such a weird experience. I mean, look at, whoa, that is such a tight section. That's like a condensed, and then this banking, oh my god. This is like, that was a condensed version of Magnus and Beckett's. That was like the Mario Kart version of Magnus and Beckett's. And then we can wind up a little bit of power, but again, like Raw Wasteway, I'm not, I might not really get past even second gear here. You can see what I mean by this is definitely a, a drifting sort of circuit rather than a, a GP circuit because there's so many sharp corners. But of course, in a Mario Kart, which is a lot smaller than a Formula 1 car, let's be real, this would be a very nice high-speed kind of circuit. But right now in a Formula 1 car, it is very low speed. I can't lie, the grip levels aren't quite there. I need to make sure I keep going high all these corners because that's where the camber sort of is and the, the kind of elevation will work with the car but it's kind of difficult when the turning circle is so sharp and you can see how hard I'm having to chop away the steering wheel and I'm not even really accelerating that much it is such a technical lap here and I don't want to fall off the edge I think I'm pretty sure we just fall off we're gonna get reset here but unlike the Royal Raceway at least I'm not going to fall through the ground there's no massive jump here but I would love to go a little bit quicker but it, I literally just can't and the AI are gonna, the AI are gonna find this impossible. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, and this is just such a, just, <laughs> it's like it's worse than Monaco. It's worse than Monaco in Singapore. This is the new street, the technical street circuit where it's all about dialing into the circuit because I'm having to remember every single nook and cranny of the circuit. We've jumped over the grass. I want to take this elevation change. Can we take this jump? No. Oh, oh my. No, it didn't like that. It didn't like that one bit. Right, let's try that again. Come on. Take the jump. Oh, oh, it's very bumpy here. Come on. Underlay. There we go. Didn't really work as well as I thought it would do, to be honest. Right, are you ready to see one of the weirdest and slowest laps in a Formula 1 car? Here we go. The F1 car around Yoshi's Village through turns 1 and 2. Tight left-hander there. Then under the bridge of, uh, well, first of two bridges here, really. The rock bridge and then the kind of more constructed bridge here. Fast left-hander, then a long right. Really 
hard to get the power down, to be honest, in no more than second gear. Let me go through the left and right. Let me come to the Yoshi Village Sling, I'm going to call it, as we go down the hill over the bumps. The car already gets some good airtime here, unlike any kind of other Formula 1 circuit in existence. And then through the banked curve, through the right-hander hairpin. Then you've got the long, long back straight, and now it's over. Through the left and then the right, the last corner to wind up the lap of the beautiful... Yoshi Village Circuit. I've decided I'm going to try out a new shortcut here on this track to see if it's going to gain me some time. So instead of taking the sling like normal, what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight across here. Nice little jump. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, we're going to hit the water. Oh, that's not gone well. That's not. We're off circuit. And I, I am driving on water. I am the Jesus of a set of course of Formula One. Let's go. <laughs> what? Oh my god. No. This. This is. This is insane. This is better than the actual map. We're driving on water. We're driving around a ferry. There's the lighthouse again. There's the circuit on the right. But look at all the, the space. The room for activities. It's unbelievable. I can just do a lap of the entire village. This is actually amazing we've got a free row mario kart track here look at this on the right hand side that's the actual circuit i was driving on look at the elevation change there how high we are comparison to this but look at it now we can really get the taps open here drive everywhere we've got some islands can we actually hit these islands can we actually make contact with these islands come on no okay no no we go through them but we are driving on the water this is what 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 has this video just become? <laughs> Look at it. This is the track map because the cameras are stuck to where the actual circuit is. But in the distance, you can just see. <laughs> I'll oh no, the cameras swap now. Oh no, the game's tracking us from what it's got available. So it's kind of swapping cameras around the circuit to keep an eye on us here. <laughs> We look tiny now compared to that, but look at the look at us just flying across in just a bit of useless camera work there. There we go. We can see another flash of us. Look at it go. F1 car in water. We're going so quick we don't sink. That's what's happening there. That's what the physics are telling us. Okay, it's not the fact that the the water is just solid ground. It's we're actually driving fast enough to to go this quick to stay uh, stay ahead. I mean, look at it. We we look like a little ant speck. I mean, what is that? Is it an ant? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a Formula 1 car driving on water, as you do. We're going to take this reverse, you know, because it's not a normal circuit. We can do whatever we want. Let's take on Yoshi's Village backwards. Is it any better? Is it any easier? Don't think so. Already, that's actually a little bit worse, because this section was quite quick. Although, this right-hander, that's a little bit nicer. And then up the hill... Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, apart from the suspension, up the hill is actually a little bit nicer in a way. You can get more speed there. And then we go through the tunnel. Do they have this on Mario Kart where you could do circuits backwards? I'm pretty sure you could. So basically, we're just doing what we could do in Mario Kart. You know, just try the, uh, the you know, backwards revision. And then, of course, if you just get bored, then you can just drive off the, the, the map and you can just... Uh, Drive on the water, as, as, you, as you do. Right, so as always is tradition on the channel, then we're going to go ahead with a race. We've got 14 AI, because I thought mm, any more than that, I think with how small the circuit is, there may either be some cars that are one, punted off into the water, or two, just a horrendous crash. So let's see how this goes. I don't envisage it going well, but we've, you know, gone for the very positive three lap race. I don't know if we'll actually get to that, but let's see. Here we go then to six red lights at Yoshi village in a load of Formula 1 cars and the lights are out and we're on the way to slow start but probably a good thing because this is how slow we'll be going around the entire circuit to be honest and already some of them taking some very questionable lines into the grass a few have had some issues can we get through please yes come on lad come on we're up into P7 so six cars actually made it through there you can do the mini map so kudos to them and they're actually pretty quick it would seem come on need to try and do my best to catch up to them. But like with Royal Raceway, they might be uh, a lot more rapid than I am. Because, of course, they're AI. So they know exactly where to accelerate and break. Whereas I am just, you know, doing it on a whim. But here we go. Ah, oh, taking... No! We've span. No. You see what I'm saying? Look at them. Look at them. They're taking this... They're, they're taking this like ballerina dancers. They're doing it lovely. No, don't get left behind. I need to catch up. No. I'm getting embarrassed at Yoshi's Village. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. There's been an issue here. There's been a massive issue there. I take it back. I take it back. They're not perfect. They're actually really stupid around here. We're up into P2. Bob's your uncle. Oh, that was a sweet apex. We're actually catching up. We're actually catching up. We're actually doing really well here. Come on. Hold that mode. Take this shortcut. Come on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, it's round two, but I've decided to uh, make it the afternoon time, and now you can see the lighting with the uh, the kind of effects I've got on the game are going crazy, and now it looks exquisite, I, I think you'll say. It looks pretty beautiful with the amount of sun coming out of the circuit. It's a bit blinding, though, but it is a lovely... I mean, wow, why wasn't I driving with this shader the entire time? This looks amazing. Can we move, please? Can we go? Come on, P12, P11, P9, actually. Look at... Oh, Mark, this circuit is exquisite with this lighting. This is unreal. I mean, I think before it looked way more realistic as a, as a Mario Kart circuit, but this lighting looks stupendous. Well, we're P8. I'm hoping that the others crash, maybe, and then we'll have a decent time of getting up into the top positions as the light absolutely blinds me, but probably good because, again, that. Oh, wow. You guys have really blocked the entire circuit that time. We're up into P. <laughs> what? He just went through the ground. No, no, he just went through the ground. He just went through the ground. You... Is anyone else seeing this? No. What? Oh, my word. It's all kicking off here. It's all gone down in Yoshi's village. There's cars flying about, crashing into each other, going into the ground once again. So we ticked that box. I said maybe this time they wouldn't go into the ground like Royal Raceway, but they have, as I've lost the back end there and have been overtaken for P4 somehow. The leader is on the final lap. I don't know who it is, but they're doing a pretty decent job at not crashing and going through the ground. Let's be real. Can we cut across here? Is that, is that a shortcut that works? That works pretty well. Have they had more issues here? No, all the air have been cleared here, so there's no more of a log jam. So in fact, I will actually be losing and not even getting on the podium here in this race at Yoshi's Village. But you know what? I don't care. I love the fact that we turned on the day to like 6 p.m. in the evening because it looks lush. How are they doing this so smoothly? They go through this section so nicely, whereas I'm just jumping over things. Obviously, they've got perfect acceleration being AI, but still... Also, sorry for any frame drops there. It's, uh, I think with the lighting effects and the amount of cars and this circuit, the frames are dropping a little bit here. But I think that is us across the line. That is race over at Yoshi's Village. But can we just appreciate this up to... And before we round out, and before we round out the video, of course, I've got to show you guys the uh, cap proper camera shots here because this is just biblical scenes here. Load of Formula 1 cars, but look at the surroundings there. Lighting on point as well. Massive pile up here. And we have to wait for the car to get through. But eventually we will get through to the rest of the circuit. But all those guys will be out of the GP. Is, is it really a G? Can you call it a Grand Prix? I think by definition terms, this really can't be classed as a GP. But, I mean, it's the Yoshi Village race. It's just marvellous. It really is. You love to see it. Down that section there. These Formula 1 cars, at least in my hands, have no decorum or grace around this circuit whatsoever there. Take the hairpin with no sense of the apex there. Um, and through the last corner very, very slowly to round out that lap and continue on. Obviously, we gained, I think, one more position here, did we? Uh, with the cars, yeah, we gained some more positions here with all them. Cut across, that's the technical line of that. <laughs> and that is, uh, you know what? I think we should end it there, just watching that crash. So, guys... This has been taking Formula 1 cars around the Mario Kart Yoshi Village circuit. I don't think it was much of a success because this circuit is such a tight one. But it was funny nonetheless and quite a spectacle every single time to see a proper Formula 1 car go around such a ar uh, cartoony sort of, you know, arcadey Mario Kart circuit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new around here, then do get subscribed for weekly full-on content. I've been Arifa. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day and I'll see you guys next time.